On May 10th, 2024, one of the most powerful geomagnetic storms of the century hit Earth, causing aurora to be seen as far south as Mexico. This video chronicles those events minute by minute, showing you exactly what happened that spectacular night. We start off on May 8th, where sunspot region AR3664 is starting to get spicy. On this day, the first of a series of massive coronal ejections began that continued on for multiple days. On May 9th, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association announced a warning that severe geomagnetic storms were arriving the next day. Now us astronomers got a bit excited, but at the time it was still uncertain. Solar storms are a lot like regular storms in that it's very hard to predict what they'll do. So many of us were cautiously optimistic that the storm would be a good one. I was one of these people. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to see it, but I decided to drive two hours north anyway, thinking at the best I might barely see it across the horizon. The forecast for that night showed the visibility line stopping around central New York's latitude, much farther south than usual, but still out of reach for most of the people in the US and Europe. So the world's astronomers sat and waited to see how this would go. I'd arrived at the site at 9.45 and had just checked my phone and I hadn't seen any updates on social media. I walked around our site. The moon was in its crescent phase and slowly moving towards the horizon. It was just around this time we all noticed a small smudge. At first I thought it was a cloud, but I soon realized this was no cloud, but the aurora. I felt great. We were actually able to see it. Sure it was dim, but this is what the forecast predicted. So I sat back and enjoyed the sight. But in the span of about 5 minutes something amazing happened. The sky exploded. The aurora grew in brightness and would not stop. Brilliant clouds of red with towers of green moved over us. The following video shows what this aurora looked like at its peak. It was immensely bright. What you can't see is the brilliant reds. Everywhere where you see a little pink in this image was actually bright red. This was the 10 p.m. burst, which kicked the area of visibility from here to here and lasted a couple hours. But my experiences were not unique. As it turns out, the light show had been visible for some time. Let's go back a bit. During the evening, the aurora was bright enough to be seen at dusk in some of the Nordic countries, but not much farther south. As night fell across North America, the aurora could only really be seen well north of the Canadian border. Soon after the burst, most of Europe could see it from London to south of France, while in the US, the aurora was seen as far south as South Carolina, Florida, Atlanta, Alabama, Houston, New Mexico, California, and even on the Mexican border. Astrophotographers and laymen alike took this opportunity to take photos and experience this event with their family and friends. About two hours after the first burst, the aurora began to fade. There were multiple smaller bursts all throughout the night, but none that reached farther south than Ohio. For most of America and the world, the light show was over. The solar flares and aurora did continue on past the 10th though. But unfortunately, the magnitude of these events were much less than the initial burst. The best had passed, but I do like to think. For three hours on May 10th, hundreds of millions of people stepped outside their houses, looked up, and were able to see one of the most beautiful astronomical events the Earth has to offer. All of us, from Denmark to France to Atlanta to California, all sharing this one moment. 